So a bit of a change of pace today. We saw those rain showers this morning, but have since dried out west of the Cascades, and we should remain dry all night long. Bit breezy right now, all the way through seven o'clock, and then things will start to calm down. Nine o'clock, forty-nine, and then we're down into the mid to lower forties by eleven o'clock, depending upon where you are. Tomorrow morning, most of us will wake up to the sunshine west of the Cascades, forty-one degrees, and then the winds pick up again tomorrow afternoon. I think by noontime we'll see those gusts up to about fifteen miles per hour and then gusts up to 25 miles per hour by 5 o'clock tomorrow night. With all the sunshine, you might be surprised. Our high temperature tomorrow, a couple of degrees below average, 58 degrees. Here's a live look outside the south waterfront, just a sliver of clearing off in the distance. It's 56 degrees outside with sustained, with sustained, sustained winds out of the north-northwest, 9 miles per hour. Here's a live look at Beaverton, 217 and Canyon Road. The sun has just set, but it's kind of fun. You can watch those clouds all pushing from the north to the south because of those uh, steady winds out of the north. Peak gust today, man, we saw a gust 23 miles per hour out at the airport. East of the Cascades, the Dalles got close to 40 miles per hour, and gusts out along the coast about 20, 25 miles per hour. Live Doppler shows you we are dry west of the mountains, but Mount Hood getting a bit of snow at the moment. I just looked at the webcams up at Timberline Lodge, and it does show a nice dusting of snow there. Here's the area of low pressure responsible for our wetter and cooler weather. It is moving off to the the south and eventually the east, and all of that moisture wrapping around will stay east of the mountains overnight, but it's going to transition into some snow showers. So we're talking about the potential for some accumulating snow east of the Cascades. Here's our rain and cloud forecast. You can see all those showers east of the Cascades tonight, and then they transition from rain into snow. This is 11 o'clock. Most of this will turn white in the overnight hours. And notice bend if you live there, I think one to three inches of snowfall in the next 12 to 14 hours or so, but look at east of the cask or west of the cascades rather we've got mainly clear skies all the way through the day tomorrow snow showers over the cascades and then things really start to calm down east of the mountains as the day wears on but we're going to have a clearer day to the west so really kind of nice weather to kick off the work week west of the mountains here's the winter weather advisory in effect until five o'clock tomorrow afternoon east of the mountains in all areas there indicated in blue how about our winds it is breezy out there right now this is our wind forecast six o'clock tonight You'll notice the wind's kind of dying down as the night wears on. But then tomorrow afternoon, I want to point something out. I'll pause this at noon. We've got those east winds pouring out of the gorge. Potentially, again, in the afternoon, gusts up to about 30, 35 miles per hour. So your forecast around Portland tomorrow, crisp and breezy. Winds out of the northeast, 10 to 20 miles per hour for most locations. Overnight lows today in the outlying areas, or overnight tonight, in the 30s. And the rest of us will be in the low 40s. So it'll be a chilly start to the day tomorrow, but even colder to kick off the day on Tuesday. You're high in Vancouver tomorrow, 58 degrees. Out along the coast, mostly sunny with that northeast breeze, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Cool and breezy and partly cloudy as you head down to the south. A few more clouds as you get toward Eugene in uh, the Willamette Valley tomorrow. Snow showers east of the mountains. Those will wind down for the second part of the day. Breezy and colder than today. Look at those highs, 40s and 30s. Partly sunny through the gorge. Those east winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour and tapering snow showers over the mountains. So Monday and Tuesday, sunny but cold. Overnight low uh, Tuesday morning there, 33 degrees. That's out at the airport, but I think outlying areas will be down in the 20s. So really pretty cold. And then we're dry, I think, for the most part until Thursday. Potentially a few showers on Thursday morning, which is Halloween. Drying out Friday. And then Saturday, it looks like we turn pretty wet and breezy. Okay.